Hey, it's me, Meepaw, and I'm here in downtown LA at the theater at the Ace Hotel for Race Chaser Live with Alaska and Willem and a bunch of other guests. And I'm going to take you backstage for some secret behind the scenes jokes and tricks and fun and drag and whatnot. We're going to be talking about everyone's favorite reality TV show, the show that brings stars to life, the show that destroys careers, the show that made one person a star and everyone else a trash person. And that star is RuPaul, and I'm talking about RuPaul's Drag Race! Come on, let's go! How are you? Are you guys excited for Race Chaser? Hi, how are you? Are you guys here for Willem or Alaska? We're here for he said Meatball, so he's the winner. Meatball, but he took my pick. Well, you're not original. Are you excited for Race Chaser Live this evening? Oh, yeah. Very excited. Uh, what's your favorite episode of RuPaul's Drag Race? Um, all Stars 2, uh, I don't know the episode, but it's the episode where all the queens come back and Alyssa sends. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. so good. When yeah. the mirror changes and Alyssa's yeah, just yeah, like, the crack of the century. Uh, the crack. crack of the century. The thank you so much. Yeah, Enjoy the you. show. Good wig. Oh, someone wants to be on camera. Uh, Compliments. Oh, yes, we are. We love me, Paul. Uh, LA local, a superstar. Did so good. Local. And, uh, yes, aren't you local? No, bitch. Oh, well, really? I mean, I locally now, but I'm not from here locally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's not get into me. It's about you and oh, Willow. I know. I'm Alaska. excited. Are you not excited for today? I'm so excited. I'm Who so excited. are you more excited to see, Willem, oh. Alaska, or a hot dog truck? Oh, girl. I could always go for a wiener, you know. All right. Oh. Enough. Who's ready to get drunk and yell at men in wigs? I sure <laughs> shit am. The stars of the show are now arriving in their own limousine. Sponsored by Oscar Mayer Wieners. Oh my god. It's, oh my god. Oh. Here they come. Oh my god. You can wait. You can fucking wait. Woo! Oh, your stars are here. Willem and Alaska have arrived in a Oscar Mayer hot dog wiener and they have blocked up downtown LA traffic. These are your celebrities! Oh, I think I peed. I'm here with one of the original pit crew members. The one, the only, the mustachioed, the big Sean Morales, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. What's going on tonight? I'm very intrigued because leopard print is my favorite color, but also I haven't seen you in clothes in so long. Well, they come off. Did oh, do they? Did you? Yet? Did you have to do a lot of like pre-working out to get ready for this? Are you downstairs doing crunches to get all that body right? All of it, all of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be in a jock shop tonight? No. Do you need a fluffer? Yes. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Hi, how are you? I'm here with the one, the only Alaska Thunderfuck 5000. Yeah. Are you ready for Race Chaser Live, your first live show? I am. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I'm like, I don't know where everything, I have to put stuff where it goes. Like, I've, it's, I'm really like scared and excited. Oh, okay. Am I keeping you from uh, organizing your bag? No. Good, because I'm going to keep talking. What has been your favorite part about starting a new podcast and just blowing up so quickly? Uh, I mean, that's what that's the part I like is the the response that has been so good. Yeah. And do you find that the fans of RuPaul's Drag Race are like hardcore fans more than any other thing? Yes, and God bless that. Like, we're really lucky that we have that. Because, you know, like, on other shows, it's like, you go on, and then, like, and then the next one happens, and, like, people are, like, they go on with their lives, but, like, Drag Race fans are like, ah! <laughs> Like, they, it's life and death to them, and that, I mean, it's life and death to me. Like, I love that. That's amazing. Well, you guys, you're a winner, baby. You're in the hall fame, but you're working with Willem, who's a known uh, divisive character in the RuPaul's Drag Race world. How did you guys come together and decide to do a podcast together about one thing that you've won in love, and one thing that she has a lot of opinions about? Well, like, um, I have a lot of opinions about it, too, and so that's kind of what makes it, like, makes it a fun, like, dynamic is because we, can, we have a push and a pull, and, like, uh, and uh, and that that makes it really good listening. But like I don't know, he's the he's the whole. Oh, this is his phrase. He's the voice of I'm the voice of reason, and Willem is the voice of treason. <laughs> 
I love that. Okay, are there any secrets? Uh, what's gonna happen on stage tonight that's gonna be so shocking that no one would expect it? You're you're gonna be up there at one point, aren't you? What? <laughs> okay. No, we're so it's all it's all. What happened? Aren't you gonna be doing it? With I don't think so. Yeah. I wasn't told of anything. He just told me to put my wig on tight. Okay. Well, I hope that you'll be able to join us. I hope I will too. Are you excited for tonight? Uh, I'm super excited. Yeah. Because this is like our own idea and we created it and like made it happen with the help of Big Dipper. But like it's all from our little brains. It's, it's so crazy that you guys started with season one. Now going back from the very beginning. Well, we always go in order. We always go in order except when we jump around intermittently. Which, because now you have All Stars 4 going on while you're finishing season three. I don't even know what season you're on now. We're on All Stars 4 and then um, our listenership doubled. So we'll be probably doing 11 next Holy shit, so that's insane. Podcasts need to watch out. Yeah, what's it like just like throwing up a podcast and being like number one right out the get go? What, like it's hard? <laughs> I hate you so much. What, like winning's hard? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite part about doing the podcast with Alaska? Because she is a winner of the show, and you are a winner in a very different way, but I still think one of the most memorable characters one from of, the show. One of the most headed things I said during my season at the All-Stars at the party was uh, they found America's Next Drag Superstar. She just didn't win. I mean, it's f***ing true. I mean, the, the, they did what the show promised. Um, but I think it's my favorite part about doing the show is just hanging out with Alaska and talking about a show that we love. Well, not truth. Yeah, you guys are just talking truth. What, what did you think about how drag has changed from season one to where it's now at at All-Stars 4? Like, on Drag Race itself. Um, Here's the thing, if they made all the girls from All Stars 4 compete in stuff that they made, you know, like how season one and season two, a lot of the stuff was like girls made or like their friend helped or whatever. Now, Drag Race wouldn't look like Drag Race anymore if the girls had to do their own drag. You know? I completely agree. And they don't even do the challenges where they have to sew anymore. They don't have to create anything anymore. It depends on the season. Like, um... Season 7 didn't have many... Um, season 7 had tons of creative challenges because they were a creative bunch. You had Pearl, you had Fame, you had Violet, you had like those kind of brains that were like fashion and art. And then other seasons were more performer heavy because they had amazing performers, you know? Um, and are you friends with Lady Gaga? <laughs> Do you have her phone number? Do you have Lady Gaga's phone number? If you call... No, if you texted her, would she respond in three hours? Would she respond by the end of the show if you texted her right now? Would Lady Gaga respond? What time zone? <laughs> I hate it. I don't talk about my personal life. <laughs> Except for in the book. Yeah, oh my God, in the book. <laughs> right. Thank you so much for talking to me. I hope you have a wonderful show. Is there anything else you'd like to plug? Get out. Race Chaser Live here at the Ace Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. I saw Willem, I saw Ponies, I saw Alaska, I saw Ponytails, I saw Sean Morales on my face. I'm not wearing makeup anymore because of it. I had a wonderful time and I hope to see you later. And don't forget to subscribe to Horn It only on YouTube. Also download the app because they got articles and I'm on there and I post shit, Henny. Bye, bitch.
Oh my god, it was such a wonderful show. It was so funny, uh, especially the part with the pony. What was your favorite part, ma'am? Sir? Why do you have so many fingers? Thumbs up. What is this? Does anyone work here? <laughs>